Hey underdogs, it's Stacy from Underdog Wellness again, and I've got another, it's a bar series, it's the arm series that goes with the bar series. So if you have been doing any of the bar work, the way you wanna put it together is you wanna do the warm up, um, then you wanna go into your arm series, then you want to go to the bar, you can always use a chair, and pick maybe two to three of those. You don't really wanna to do too many more than three in those series, back to back to back, and then you wanna do one of the ab series, and then you could pick yoga or you could just stretch or you could just you know do what you want to do as a cool down um, but that would be the way to put the routine together and you're looking at about an hour if you do all of that you can always make it shorter or longer or do something standalone so today is the arm series or right now is the arm series so we are going to go right into it you want to start with your feet actually apart about hip distance maybe slightly wider and you really want to have a nice bend in that knee I've got three pound weights. You can go as high as three. You can always use two or ones or even nothing if you know, you're know you coming back from an injury and you just don't want to add any weight at this point. Okay, so the reason we keep the knees bent is we want to be able to move that body. So make sure you don't have them locked out, okay? Make sure they're bent and you're ready to move. Okay, so we're gonna start with this arm. So your right arm, we're gonna go up slightly out, up slightly out, up, out, Good, keep it moving. Six, seven, and eight. Other side. We're up, out, up, out. Three, feel your torso move slightly with you. Five, so that's why we keep those knees bent. So we've got a lot of mobility through that spine. And last one, good. Now we're gonna keep our elbows wide, hands together, we're gonna open and close, open, and close, open, hold, all right? And then this one's gonna work, we're gonna go up, out. This one's not a slightly out, this is a definite out, so you have like a T at the end of that one. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good, we're gonna close, and open, close, and open, and then hold it there, we go up. Out, up, out, up, out, up. You've got it. Always feel free to add in your own music once you've got it. And last one. Okay, now this arm is gonna rest, this arm is gonna work. So we're gonna cross it over, the palm faces out, and then we lift it up. So up, and the palm faces is out here and out here. So the arm kind of swings, six, seven, and eight. Good. From here, we're gonna take a 90 degree, almost like a Barbie arm, 90 degree, and you're gonna bring the arm back, swing it out. So it's up and over the shoulder, abs are pulled in, three. My fingers are loose, try not to hang onto the weight for dear life, you don't wanna create any extra tension. Seven, and eight. Good, this one rests. So this one's gonna cross and open. Cross, let it swing. If you ever do any kettlebells, you kinda know about that kettlebell swing. Five, seven, and eight. Good, find that 90 degree, bring it over the shoulder, open it out over the shoulder, open it out. So the only direction changing here is your shoulder. The, from the elbow, from the actually shoulder down, the arm stays exactly the same. Elbow is not moving. It's kind of staying locked in position. Good, two more. Last one. Good, all right. So we're gonna bring the arms out. We reach, reach, double, reach, 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 double, reach. Reach, reach, double, reach, 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 double, reach. It's a good one. Double, reach, 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 double, reach, 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 double, reach. Last one. Double, reach. Okay, releasing again. This arm's gonna rest. This one's gonna be the one that moves. So we're gonna bring the elbow into the rib cage. So again, we've got that 90 degree arm. Dig that elbow in. We press it up. Two, three. So make sure it touches 
four, and then a full lengthening of the arm. Six, seven, hold eight, lean over, pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We do ten on that one. Okay, so elbow is in, bring it up. Two, send it to the sky. Three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight. Do a little lean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, W arms. We're going to take our arms to look like a W, our palms face up. We're going to bring it open and close. Two, make sure it's a full range of motion. Four, and that your abs are pulled in. Six, seven, hold it wide, up. Two, three, you should be feeling it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, all right, so from here, we're gonna do kind of a um, bicep curl. So you're gonna glue your elbow, let it touch your hip, and then we cross the body. Two. It's just a bicep curl. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. And then we're gonna cross the face. So we're gonna cross, and then it's a back diagonal. So cross, elbow as high as the shoulder, and then it goes higher in the back. These are a little slower because we really want to get the full range of motion, and we don't want to damage that shoulder trying to do it. So nice and slow. Six, seven, and eight. Nice. So this one rests. This one's going to glue in, and we do that cross that bicep curl, two, so that elbow is touching, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we cross the face, cross, but then lengthen to the back behind us on that diagonal, diagonal, cross, diagonal, cross, diagonal, Six, seven, and eight. Nice. All right, so now we're going to take arms to a T. We're going to go up, out, two, out, three, four, five, six. They're both getting tired here. <laughs> seven, and eight. Good. Up, two, and it's a bit of a diagonal up. It's not straight to the ceiling. Five, six, seven, eight. This is the one that makes me the most tired. You go straight arms back, bent elbow. Straight, bent. Straight, bent. Straight, bent. Five, bent. Six, bent. Seven, eight, woo, nine. We did an extra. We don't need to do that. Flip the palms. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. And that's it. That's your arm series. You should have felt that pretty much everywhere. Lots of shoulders, lots of biceps, um, hopefully some triceps. And that is it for today, but again, incorporate that in with the rest of your bar and you should be toning it up. Especially with arms, I suggest every day. Um, if you're really sore, maybe every other day, but do them as often as you can and you should start to see some nice sculpting results. All right, we'll see you again. Remember to like and subscribe and talk to you later. Bye.